You're welcome to Reproductive Health Segment with Dr. Ajayi. My name is Dr. Bayomi Ajayi. It's a new year. I wish you a pleasant new year, um, a prosperous 2011. And uh, because it's a new year, we're starting with something very new. Yeah, last year we ended up in the laboratory. We're starting the laboratory this year, but I bet you we're doing something very, very new. Now, today we're starting male infertility, but we're starting on a different note. We're starting where the very best that you can see in male infertility anywhere in the world. That's what we're starting with today. And today we're going to be talking about what they call IMC, intracytoplasmic morphologically selected sperm injection. But before we go into that, let me tell you why we're starting with male infertility and why we're starting the new year with male infertility. It's shown all over the world now that male factor infertility appears to be on the increase. And Nigeria is not an exception. So we're going to be focusing the next few weeks on male infertility. And to discuss, do justice to it in the laboratory today is Mr. Paul Fadwala. Paul, you're welcome to the program. Thank you very much. Yes. Uh, there's, I can see you You have new gadgets that you're playing with. This is called IMC, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yeah, can you explain to us what is, the, what is peculiar about this, your new toy? This is the IMC machine. Yeah. You will look at when you look at it, it looks like the normal ICSI machine we make use in doing our ICSI. If I say ICSI, sorry, I mean intracytoplasmic sperm injection. But IMSI is intracytoplasmic morphologically selected sperm injection. The difference between these two technologies is magnification. Usually, we do ICSI at a magnification of 200, 400. And at that magnification, we will rarely see any defects in the sperm morphology. What we are interested in in ICSI is just to pick a sperm and inject into the egg. But in IMSI, we tend to analyze the sperm structure with our ICSI machine because it has a more magnifying power than the ICSI machine. It has a magnification of about, of above 6,600. This will enable us to see detailed structure in the sperm morphology. This is a sperm cell. Under a times 200 magnification, you will not see this vacuum you are seeing here. If I, let me just stop you a, a bit. You said the difference between the ICSI and the IMC is because of the magnification. Yes. Why are you interested in the magnification? Why are you interested in the morphology of the sperm? Actually, the morphology of a sperm, like those in the IT world, we say garbage in, garbage out. The quality of an embryo is usually dependent on the quality of garments that are used in, it, in developing it. If the sperms or the sperm cells that are used are not good enough, they're not going to give us good quality embryos, and those embryos are not likely to implant. In ICSI, we cannot really tell the sperm morphology because we can really see it under times 200 magnification. But in IMSI, the picture is bigger. We are able to see the morphology of the sperm cell very well. There are different structures that make up the sperm cell. This structure, we tend to analyze them one after the other on the IMSI machine because they are, the picture, they are, like I said earlier, they are bigger and we can see them in detail. So we can actually tell a sperm cell that is defective from the one that is not defective because we, our intention is to select the best sperm cell that will give us a good quality embryo. That is what we are after. So we, at the, with the IMSI machine, we are able to see the best palm cell that we select to use for the treatment of the patient. Okay, very good. So, but what is the effect of this selection that you do? Is that, does it have any effect on pregnancy rate? Does it have any effect on the embryos you get? Why do you have to go through all these pains? It has tremendous effects on the quality of embryo that we generate. If we should go through this pain to get quality palm cell to use in injecting our egg, we are definitely going to have a quality embryo at the end of the day. Now, on pregnancy rates, it has been shown all over the world where it has been used that people 
that have two previous fail cycles from ICSI, which is the older technology, they are as twice as likely to succeed in their next cycle if they do IMSI than repeating ICSI or IVF. So this is why IMSI is very important at this stage. Okay, very good thing that you've raised up. So the ne my next question is logical. What are the indications for IMSI? When do you do IMSI? We do IMSI in men that have low sperm counts, poor sperm parameter. When I say low sperm count, the, in the, the particular, the WHO recommendation, or rather, the person that invented this technology recommend that a sperm count of less than 5 million, less than 20% motility, is an indication for IMSI. Because at this count and motility, the sperm cells tend to be more defective. It has been shown that sperm with this uh, sperm count, spermatozoa, men with this low sperm count, they tend to have more of the sperm that are vacuolated okay. and are defective in structure. Okay. So recommending MC for them will actually increase their chances of achieving a successful IVF cycle. Okay, that's one. Other indications, let's just quickly, because I, I can see some movement, can we quickly just, any other indication for MC? Yes. MC is also indicated when uh, there is recurrent abortion in the first trimester. Okay. When a woman is having recurrent abortion in the first trimester and she wants to improve on her chances the next time, she may tend to come to do MC because what, uh, there are many factors that can actually cause recurrent abortion in the first trimester. But to exclude sperm morphology from it, I think it would be wise to do IMSI on her to see what will come out at the end of the day. Good. But most of the time, they come out successful if the contributing factor is the sperm morphology. And then you mentioned one earlier on, that is if someone has had two previous two failed previous ci cycles, fail cycle. then IMSI is something to recommend. Yes. I'm sure you must have been educated on male infertility. What Paul has just shown you is the latest in the world in the treatment of male infertility. So that's the way we've started 2011. And uh, we hope that this year also brings you good tidings as it's going to bring to every one of us in Nigeria. So stay tuned. We'll see you next week.